Hey, Andrew Hayes here with another movie review. And this time I'm doing the movie review of the movie Run All Night. And Run All Night is about a father played by Liam Neeson who um kills his boss's son trying to protect his son. And, you know... The boss soon finds out, and you know, just may mayhem and chaos ensues, and you know, soon things get very, very crazy. Now, I went into this movie with very little expectations of it being good because you know, I thought you know it's gonna be you know, a Liam Neeson movie, you know, the generic Liam Neeson movie that's you know entertaining, but you know, not good. You know, I thought it was gonna be you know another taken kind of movie and um you know the director of this movie um directed a movie that came out last year non-stop and I really liked that movie I mean I know not everybody liked it but I liked it I enjoyed it and uh, you know that kind of made me look forward to this movie anymore but oh boy was I, I was really surprised you know in a good way I was surprised um know how good it was like last week I was surprised on how bad Chappy was now but this week you know I'm surprised in a good way um on how good Run All Night was I really enjoyed it and um there are some bad things about it though I'm gonna go about over these bad things first because it less and you know the only really thing that kind of got me mad was the son of Liam Neeson's wife kind of annoyed me because he didn't really know why she thought the way she did and she kind of seemed bipolar and it just kind of pissed you off and it seemed like she didn't really think but you know that's just me um but yeah that's about it but most of the good things are there are mostly good things about this movie and one of the good things is I really like Liam Neeson's character. I mean, he's a bad guy. And you know, he, I mean, and he knows that he's a bad guy. And he kind of regrets it because, you know, the another good thing is the relationship between him and his son. And, and I really like it because they, not that they don't get along. It's that Liam Neeson is not even that he's trying to be a good father, but he's trying, you know, to get his son to like him. And, you know, he, the, for what his past kind of messed up his son and he doesn't want his son to be like him. Like, he wants his son to have a better life than him. And he kind of hates the fact that for the stuff that he did and because of the stuff that he did, he his son hates him. Like... A lot. Like, there's a scene where, um, um, Liam Neeson is, knocks on the door. Like, he's home alone, um, Liam Neeson's son, and Liam Neeson knocks on the door, and he opens the door, and I'm literally, like, the f first things are, like, what the fuck are you doing here? Because I don't want you to see your that is like, don't walk in my house, get out, get away from me. You can see that, but, and then you see, like, the movie goes on, the relationship grows, and, you know, you can really see that Liam Neeson cares for his son, and his son's family, and he wants his son to have a better, way better life than he does, because, well, I can't really say, because it would be a spoiler, but, you know, something happens to the son, and they're like, no. Like, the boss of Liam Neeson, his son, when his son is killed, um, Liam Neeson is like, don't kill my son, kill me. And the boss is like, no, you're both getting taken down. And I really like, it shows that, um, Liam Neeson cares. Even though, all, like, all the shitty things that he has done, it shows that he still cares about his family. Now, I think the boss is actually pretty badass, too. I mean, like, Liam Neeson's pretty badass. I think, you know, the son's that badass. I The boss is badass. There's a lot of badass people in this movie. And I think that's pretty cool. And, um... 
And yeah, and like I also as I like the relationship between the father and the Liam Neeson and the son, like I said, but I do like the relationship between Liam Neeson and the the boss. Because he because I mean, even they they have their, you know, final standoff at the end, final shoot off, I guess you would say. Final showdown. That's that's what we'll call it. The final showdown that you could see like there's still respect for each other, and I think that's pretty cool. And what I personally like about this movie the most is um there's this one character that you kind of forget about, and then it's it's towards the end of the movie, and you know my friends kind of saw it coming because of something that happened in the beginning. They remembered it, but I kind of forgot about it. So I thought it was going to end a certain way. And then this guy reappears and it's like, I don't want to say a plot twist because it wasn't a plot twist. But you're kind of surprised and it was cool. I thought it was cool. I mean, like, it didn't end the way I expected it. I really liked that. And it wasn't, the ending wasn't a happy ending. And I thought that was good too. And what I... Where, like, the ending brought everything together, brought everything in a full circle, which I thought was really cool. Now, with that being said, I overall really liked this movie. This movie was way better than I thought it was going to be, and it's just really good. One of my favorite movies of the year so far, and um, I'm going to give this movie a four out of five stars. Now, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, this movie was good. A lot better than... It's not great. I mean, it's not a masterpiece. But it's good. Like, it's a good... Really good movie. Really fun, entertaining movie. And yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, my name is Andrew Hayes, and... Have a nice day.